How can a character make clones of himself without a spell? Is it possible? I'm making a character and I want him to be able to make clones that aren't as strong as him, but can use some of his abilities and be useful in recon and battle. My character is a level 4 barbarian that I'm trying to make resemble the character Meliodas, from the Seven Deadly Sins. Magic items that cast cloning spells would be okay, and I am looking for a way to make clones a hybrid between flesh, blood and illusion. I was hoping that they could fight with my abilities, and have hit points, so they could vanish when they die. I was thinking that the clones could have a portion of my hit points depending on how many, such as half my hit points for one clone, one fourth for two clones, etc. They can last either until they die, or until I dismiss them. From a DM's perspective, would you let me make it a feat or trade it for a different ability in the class? Sorry if this is too complicated. I don't think that the question is as can be really answered right now with anything else than a currently not really. But I'll try to answer the intent behind it, which isn't really in the sense of this website, but hopefully it helps. There is currently no item or feat that lets you do what you want to. Spells of that power are also out of your reach unless you decide to continue as a spell caster for many more levels. Why not? Because what you're describing is rather unbalanced. At level 4 it is way too strong and there are even balancing problems at higher levels. This is because even if they have less HP, doing the same damage as you is huge. Yes, you're a melee fighter, so it's somewhat mitigated, but doing double damage each turn with one clone is powerful. Half or even a fourth of your HP is enough to survive a few hits by most creatures and as such it is expected to do its damage multiple times. Additionally the damage that it soaks is also relevant, every damage that one of your clones takes is damage that one of the actual players doesn't take. I was hoping that they could fight with my abilities, this is especially problematic since you can now use your once a day features even more often. And your features that were balanced to make you as powerful as another PC are now on a creature that you can summon that is almost as powerful as another PC. At this point you're literally adding another PC to your party. As per the comment of Guild's Bounty below, the spell that is the most similar to what you want to do is Simulacrum PHBP 276. I think it illustrate this point rather well. It's a 7th level spell, earliest available to players at the 13th level in Wizard or an Arcana Cleric, or at the 14th level in Bard, its casting time is 12 hours and it requires 1500 GP of material components that are consumed when casting it. You can also only ever have one of them and that one does not regain spell slots nor can it become more powerful. Healing it also requires 100 GP per hit point and its maximum HP is half of the targets, you in this case. What should I do then? I see two options. Wait for Explorer's Guide to Wildmount where a new fighter subclass called Echo Knight will be included that sounds very much like what you want to do. Then either multi-class into it or switch to it completely. Homebrew an item or subclass I do not recommend a feat as this kind of effect is always too powerful for a feat. Homebrewing this kind of effect is really delicate as it quickly becomes overpowered. I actually made a legendary item that does something similar, but I do not feel comfortable to post it here as it is not sufficiently tested. I also created it for a level 7 to 8 rogue and it was earned after defeating a boss. But here are the basics that I thought about to give you an idea in what direction you'd need to go, again no warranty. It does look like you, including what you're wearing, but has a discernible feature that makes people instantly realize that it's not the real you. It does not inherit your features or items, magical items look the same but aren't working. It can only attack with the item itself, don't make its attack more powerful than a regular non-magical weapon. When creating a clone you get unavoidable necrotic damage and the clone has HP equal to a small portion of the damage that you got. I went with 4d10 damage and 1 quarter HP, but like I said, there isn't enough data to say it's balanced yet, your max HP should probably also be reduced by the same amount until the clone dies. When they die, you gain their memories, this might be exploitable, there is a limit to how many clones you can make, and above all, any features of it might change as I notice that they are too powerful, too underpowered or exploitable. Don't be afraid to revamp homebrewed content.